So I was bored last week and I decided to salvage a few things from my junk box and I used some of that stuff to build something. I'll show you that here in a few minutes. So I salvaged a bunch of wire. This is just some of it. This is from a old PC power supply and it's pretty good wire so I figured I may as well save it. This is also from a PC power supply, probably the same one the wire came from. And this is a fan controller. So I tested it, it works, and uh, it'll probably come in handy down the line sometime. And I've got a bunch of potentiometers. So these are just some of them. Uh, these are from an old uh, metal detector. The metal detector was pretty much garbage, just a cheap radio shack thing that didn't really work. And some of these potentiometers actually have a on-off switch. And uh, this one did have, but they modified it so the switch didn't work, just the potentiometer. And here's the one that actually does have the functional switch in it. The project that I uh, actually did the other day, um, I would have liked to have used this uh, potentiometer with the built-in switch, but it wasn't the right value, so I couldn't use it. So I have a few uh, DC jacks that I salvaged, some battery terminals. I figured these might come in handy sometime to get something that has corroded battery terminals have a whole bunch of different kinds here so that worked out pretty good and then some uh, different types of terminal blocks terminal strips and I'm dropping stuff all over the floor here so uh, let's see here so there's some uh, switches this one came from an old uh, a guitar amplifier and it was just a cheapy that somebody ripped the guts out of and threw out so they left the potentiometers and the switches in it so I took those and I got a BNC connector and I have a bunch of these these are just momentary switches that I salvaged from old uh, PC towers this one I soldered some wires to this switch came from that same uh, metal detector. So, pretty decent switch. And then I have a bunch of uh, fuses and fuse holders. Most of these fuse holders are pretty much just these uh, uh, through hole ones. But there are a couple of these surface mount ones. I think they're exactly the same. They just bent the pins over so they could surface mount it. They sure look the same anyway. And then I have just a bunch of fuses. Some are glass fuses. Some are these, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but I think they're sand filled or something. And then I salvaged a bunch of these uh, MOSFETs and stuff. I think these are all MOSFETs. These are N-channel MOSFETs, and I just salvaged a few other things. One other thing that I got was this, and I think this is a 9-volt uh, voltage regulator, if I remember right. And a whole bunch of these uh, power resistors. These are from old TVs, mostly. Just got a bunch of different ones like that. So I don't know if I'll ever use them, but I uh, figured I may as well take them anyway, just in case. And then I have a bunch of these uh, heat sinks. These are just aluminum heat sinks. Mostly out of TVs, but there's a few in there that are out of uh, PC power supplies. I don't know if I'll ever have any use for these long ones that have multiple uh, packages on them. But, you know, whatever, I might use them. But the ones that are going to be real useful are these smaller ones. So I have a bunch of different sizes. And uh, there's a couple black ones in there too. So these will come in handy eventually. 
building kits and stuff like that. So here's the project I was working on. It's basically just a fume extractor. So I didn't like the uh, soldering fumes blowing up my nose, so I figured I may as well make something that'll at least take it away from my face. I didn't want to buy something because something just as basic as a fan with a carbon filter stuck on it is like 40 bucks on Amazon and I didn't really check on eBay but I'm sure you could get it a little cheaper but I figured why buy one when I already have a bunch of stuff I can make one with.